Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and in this video I'm going to be performing a RAM upgrade on my quad-core Mac Pro. Now at the moment you can see the existing 8GB of RAM in the four memory slots just there and today I'm going to be actually installing 16GB of RAM so I've got four 4 gigabyte modules from Crucial Technology. Now these modules are going to cost you in the UK around about £148 at the time of recording this video and if you're in the US around about $190. Now before I perform the upgrade you can see on your screen now the Geekbench scores with the existing 8 gigabytes of RAM and I'll be discussing these again at the end of the video once I perform the upgrade. Now this tray here on the bottom of the Mac Pro slides in and out. I've already released the little catches just here to release this and this just gives you easier access to the memory modules. So I'm going to take these existing ones out just by pushing these catches either side and they very easily lift out. So that's number one. Then we do number two. And number three. And last but not least, number four. And as you can see, these were uh, two gigabyte memory modules, so I was running eight gigabytes of RAM in this uh, previous uh, setup. So let's get these new ones. So these are four gigabytes on each module. And let's just open this up carefully. Always take your time when you're doing memory upgrades. There's no point in rushing them. And then we'll open this one. There we go, they will just slide out. Nice tight fit. And let's perform the upgrade. So we're gonna take memory module number one. And I'll give you a look at the module first of all and just point out that on each module there is a slot just underneath here by the gold connectors. Try not to touch the gold connectors whilst you're doing the installation but you've got to make sure that this slot aligns with the, uh, the little indentation on the receptor. So we've got these orientated the right way round. We lower these into the slot like so and then just give it an extra push down. And when you push down, it locates into place and these two little catches come back up and, and hold it into place so you know that that's incorrectly. Let's just give you a little close-up look of the next one going in, just so that you get to see a little bit more than you did on that first one. So let's get the second one out. So number two. And again, lower it into the slot. And it clicks into place. Number three. And hopefully this will improve the performance a great deal whilst I'm doing my video editing. So now we're going for number four. And the 16 gigabytes on this particular model of Mac Pro is the maximum that it will actually accept. Number four. So the last one going in now. And we just double check all of these are clicked in nicely, which they are. So now what I'm going to do is slide this back in to the case, like so. And as you slide back in, these start to actually go back in. So we're going to clip these back in, like so. And then that's that motherboard at the bottom actually located correctly back into the Mac Pro. So now it's time to get the side cover back on and boot this up and then I will run Geekbench again and share the results with you. So now we've got the Mac Pro booted up again 
and you can see from the about this Mac panel that we have got 16 gigabytes of crucial memory installed that's four gigabytes in each of the four slots and I've run the Geekbench test again so we can have a look at the scores both before the upgrade and after so first of all let's have a look at before we were getting a memory performance of 4628 and with the new memory installed we've got a slight increase of 4687 so overall a good increase we weren't expecting any drastic changes here but it's nice to see a little bit of memory performance gain then we've got memory bandwidth performance which is 5236 with the 8 gigabytes of RAM installed and then with the new upgrade quite a nice improvement here of 5333 and the overall Geekbench score has also improved previously from 9783 up to 9852 with the new 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now what you must take into account is that these figures are nice but they don't really relate to overall system performance and what you will find with 16 gigabytes of RAM installed as opposed to 8 is that you do get a much more responsive system. You can run more applications at the same time and with the likes of running something like Final Cut Pro 10, which I do every single day, I'm finding I get a lot better performance from that application. So I think this is a very worthwhile upgrade. As I said at the beginning of this video, it's going to cost you around about £148 in the UK, or around about $190 if you're in the US. Please do check out the links in the video description. Head on over to crucial.com or crucial.com forward slash UK. I really do trust their memory, they give good guarantees and excellent customer service. Thank you very much for watching this video, please do hit that like button, please do subscribe to the Geek Noise channel and I will see you all in the next video.